Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the shark and why is my shark blocking up? And I guess from what I've heard there's a lot of you that get blocked pipes. Please subscribe and please share and we'll get right on with the video. Well, I have my shark now for around about four months and we use it here, there and everywhere. It's one of those items you just pick up and use. You don't have to think about getting out the proper vacuum cleaner. You can just vacuum up. It seems as though I'm not the only person that gets blocked pipes, but also you guys out there as well, because you've been telling me you've had problems with your vacuum. Now, at the moment, this has stopped working. And I'm, I'm gonna show you why. Down the end here, I'll get a torch. You're, you're not gonna see this very well. You can see the bit of light. Well, actually, the reason you can only see a bit of the light is because it's blocked. And for some reason is carpet likes to get stuck in the pipe. And this is just one part of the vacuum. And what amazes me is why? So, I've worked it out myself why. Now it's not just the pipe that gets blocked, it's also the head. For some reason, this corrugated piece along the top here continuously gets blocked. Now I know they quite clearly, and it says on the box with anti-hair wrap, but what they're saying on the box is, beware, the hairs will get stuck in the pipe. Because, because it don't wrap around the roller, it wraps, in, wraps up into a pipe and it gets blocked. Hence why this is blocked. And also this pipe here gets blocked as well. So how do we remedy the problem? Well, unfortunately you can't. It's a design problem. And Shark's not the only one. Apparently I've heard from people who've got Dyson, Vax, you name it, they're all saying the same thing. And basically speaking, all the machines are all made abroad and are all made in the same type of design. They've all got this piece in here, which is corrugated. And the thing is with corrugated stuff, it always sticks, it always gets stuff stuck in it. So the easiest way to solve the problem on your pipe, get yourself a, well, this is actually a Swiffer bar. It's thin enough to go down. I was thinking about getting a little brush on the end there to, as well, but I haven't got, I haven't come up with a conclusion now to get a brush on the end of that yet, but I'm, I'm going to work on it because then it could be cleaned out properly. And all you do is push it down. And out comes the crap. Huh. Oh, what is actually in there? It's cardboard hairs and carpet bits. For some reason this just gets, it's not like a proper vacuum cleaner where it sucks it away. It sort of, everything seems to sit in it. So, now the head's another beast itself. So we've used this to do this. Now, you can't just prod this down because it doesn't prod. Because you still got to get it out. So once again, we turn it over and we undo it. Remove this part. And whilst you're doing this, you might as well just check your, if you've got any rubbish stuck around at the moment, that's fine. I've already done that the other day. And all you do is get your stick and you put your stick down through and it's clear. That's why I was thinking about getting a little brush type thing on the end there, something to screw in the top. And as it goes down, you can actually clean it through because apparently this is becoming a, a standard problem. Everybody's saying the same thing. They're having problems with um, blocking up. There's a one thing when you get your block pipes, 
You know what it's like, don't you? You need to unblock them. And this is so easy to take apart. Now, another thing a few of you have been saying to me is, is this roller replaceable? Well, yes, it is replaceable, but I haven't taken it apart. Now, I know this smaller roller is replaceable and you can get that off the uh, Shark website. Now, this other part is available off the Shark website. I haven't got a clue how you take it apart because once you've got it off, it's pretty much sealed in there. So I'm guessing there is screws around the outside and in one video, I'll probably take it apart and show you how to take it apart. But if you're gonna go that extreme, believe me, I'd probably be, if it's damaged that much, then yes, you'll probably need to unscrew it and take it apart. But at the moment, I'm not gonna go there. Um, I'll, wait, I'll wait a bit. I wanna give, give it a better test out first. Um, hopefully, it'll be okay then. <laughs> if I need to replace it, I'd be looking at thinking, how am I gonna do that? So I'll probably strip it right the way down and we'll have a look inside and see how it works properly. But hopefully I haven't killed it yet. Um, I am a bloke and you know what I like, pick it up. It's funny, Mrs. Crazy Baker says to me, it's the only time I've seen you pick up a vacuum. I said, yeah, but I don't have to plug it in. I just pick it up and use it. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please check out the description below. There may be things down there that may interest you. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!